Hi, this is uh, part six of a series of videos about the PolyEd tool in modeling mode in UE 5.1. In this video, I'm going to go through a bunch of uh, sort of smaller operations uh, in the face edits up here. So um, I showed extrude and offset and push pull and inset and outset and bevel. These are sort of complex topology operations. But we also have simpler stuff too, like say I just want to delete that face, I can just delete it. Um, that's what delete operation does. Um, disconnect here, it doesn't appear to do anything, but now if I move that face, you see it's not connected anymore. So disconnect essentially un unstitches whatever you have selected. Uh, duplicate makes a copy, so when I duplicate, it tends to disappear because of the sort of Z fighting. Sometimes if you rotate, it'll come back, but if you move it, you see I made a copy of that selected face. So those all only work on faces, they're under face edits, you know, and then I can do some extrudes or stuff like that with that extra bit. Um, or I can just my key selected and delete it. Uh, okay, so merge. Uh, so if I se select multiple groups, I can do a merge operation. Uh, and now that has just become a single group. So now it's all joined together. Oh, I saw that middle face disconnected. Let's, let's just cancel this and jump back in since I just wiped out all my edits. So I can merge those. Uh, and now they're a single face. So if I could do something like an extrude or an inset, it's operating. Uh, on that merge shape, um, and you see the inset was also, you know, now a single connected piece like that. I can you know, keep going. I could merge all those faces, and now I have a whole ring there. Um, or maybe do a push pull down. So uh, merge essentially groups a bunch of faces together. Uh, and then decompose. Well, that what that will do. Um, actually, before I do decompose, I'm going to do retriangulate. So if I show wireframe here, you can see um, if I inset this, you know, I've inset that. But I could also go back and select these outer faces I made and merge those back together. This com comes up sometimes when you're doing this kind of uh, incremental modeling. Now I've got a bunch of interior vertices here that I don't want anymore, I can use retriangulate operation to just get back to a minimal triangulation. I did lose the sort of underlying squares, um, but that tends to be what happens when you retriangulate a whole face like this. So now that I've done that, what I could do is decompose. That splits each triangle into a separate group, and then I could merge those two, and merge those two, and now I've built sort of a new polygroup topology um, out of those faces, I could, you know, same kind of thing here, I could decompose those, merge these two. Um, and so now I'm so just sort of reorganizing the triangles into different faces. Now if I wanted to get these two uh, opening edges here back, I can use the cut faces operation. So and this will what this will do is it'll snap to vertices. Oh no, it's not going to work here because I lost that vertex on the other side when I retriangulated. Um, I'm going to show cut faces in a in a future video. Um, I guess the other the other one I'll show in here is fill hole. So if I delete those faces, now what I can do is if I select one of the boundary edges, this is just how we indicate what hole we want to fill. I select that boundary edge. I can do fill hole. Hmm. I don't know what's going wrong here. Oh, there's a tiny face in there. Um, one of the operations must have created it. Uh, but anyway, now I can do, uh, so basically by selecting that boundary edge, I can do fill hole. Uh, and you see I filled in that hole in the middle there with a new face um, that I can then continue to use. Okay, so uh, now we've gone through uh, most of the operations here in the panel here. Recalculate normals uh, just recomputes the normals for that face. Sometimes that comes up when you've been done some modeling. Some faces might end up uh, with the wrong normals. And then flip just flips the normals on a face, which, um, you know, is more of a repair operation, but sometimes that might come up if you want to do uh, sort of modeling the inside of something. You might want to flip faces and stuff like that. And uh, okay, that's it for this video.